Thank you. Um, just looking out the window, um, I'm sure none of us will have failed to notice the very high pollution levels uh, that we've been seeing recently. There's been on the horizon a visible layer of brown air, which is indicative of the NO2 levels which are suffocating our city as the high pollution alerts, alerts have even warned parents to keep their babies away from heavy traffic. We know that Londoners are slowly choking on dangerous levels of air pollution and we know that the primary cause is diesel emissions from the tailpipes of vehicles. We also know that the government has failed to draw up plans that limit people's exposure to air pollution. They've been criticised in the High Court following the Client Earth um, case for focusing simply on meeting pollution limit values rather than on reducing the exposure of residents to pollution. I've welcomed the Mayor's commitment for the very toughest crackdown by any Mayor in the world, probably, in, on cracking down on highly polluting diesel vehicles with his ULEVs and his T-charge measures. These steps are great so far as they go, and I welcome them as the immediate steps that must be taken to ensure that Londoners can trust the air that they breathe. But the ULEZ and the T-Charge are both cordon-based schemes. Once you've paid your charge for that day, there is absolutely no incentive to minimise the amount of driving that you do. In fact, quite the opposite. There's a perverse incentive to drive as much as possible to get value for money from the charge that you've paid. Now, what is needed is a sophisticated, dynamic, demand-based charging system. This is fairer, as what you pay varies by the distance travelled, the particular road that you're using, the time of day you drive, and how polluting your engine is. Road charging is supported by many mainstream organisations. The Federation of Small Businesses, London First, the Royal Town Planning Institute, the Institute of Civil Engineers, and the Royal Academy of Engineering, amongst others. In their assembly, London Assembly Manifesto, the Federation of Small Businesses called for, and I quote, a fully demand-managed transport system. And they said they wanted root and branch reform is needed of the entire congestion charge scheme, including tunnel charging, to ensure a dynamic demand-based charging system that can support the competitiveness of businesses and consumers. And London First, in a press release in 2014, said, London congestion charge needs radical overhaul to keep the city moving. We need a far cleverer charging regime where costs vary more based on those roads and times of day where congestion is worst. The sooner Londoners and London government come to terms with this reality and we start working up a, solution, a, a better solution. Now, there has been no study on, um, uh, on this issue since this study was um, produced. Um, it's the Road Charging Options for London study, which was commissioned by the Government Office before the London Assembly was established, back in 1999. It's a 2000 report. And since then, no mayor has been bold enough to commission a further study and bring this study up to date. I believe that London needs a smart and effective and comprehensive system of traffic demand management, and if we ever hope to reduce air pollution and protect the health of the people, if we ever hope to reduce air pollution and protect the health of the people who live in our city, that's why this motion calls on the mayor to commission a study, just to commission a study, to assess the potential of such a system to reduce Londoners' exposure to pollution. I move the motion. Thank you very much. Do you wish to second the motion now? I will. Formally second and reserve my right to sum up. Okay. Thanks. Well, you'll get your, should the amendment succeed or fail. We have an amendment table, please, and the amendment is in the name of Assemblymember Cooper. Uh, thank you very much, Chair. Um, we welcome uh, quite a lot of the content of this motion, um, but it starts very uh, wide and starts by looking at um, 
client earth taking on the government and uh, looking nationally at what needs to be done about air quality, then starts to focus in um, on the mayor's um, uh, progressive plans for the expansion of and bringing forward of the uh, ultra low emission zone and also his additional T charge, emission surcharge proposals, but then starts to become very, very specific uh, and looks only at road charging or um, a dynamic system of traffic management, as Assembly Mes Member Russell just called it, um, as that being the only thing to focus in on. Now, you know, the number of reports that have been coming out over the last year to do with the impact of black carbon and the tiny particles lodging in our lungs and in our brains, the impact on children in terms of their health and stunted lung development has now meant that in the summer of this year, the IPPR um, has just released a report that says that diesel should be phased out over the next decade to enable us to reach those safe and legal limits that are what client earth is pushing so hard for at national and obviously covering this city as well. Just announced even more recently than the IPPR report um, are that four cities looking over the next decade have decided that the only thing for them to do is to go down the route of a diesel ban by 2025. Paris, Mexico City, Madrid and Athens. So the amendment um, takes out the becoming very specific element towards the end of the motion and instead, uh, whilst welcoming the Mayor's ultra-low emission zone as something that needs to be done absolutely as soon as possible and his proposals for an emission surcharge, then calls on the Mayor to commission a study to assess the potential of a range of further measures to reduce London's exposure to, to air pollution. We don't think it's wise at this point to narrow it down and focus only on one area. Ro road pricing might be the way forward over the next 10 years towards a diesel ban, but moving more effectively via some other route towards a diesel ban might also be something that we need to do. I've actually asked the Deputy Mayor for the Environment um, and the Air Quality Manager to come to the Environment Committee tomorrow afternoon to give the Environment Committee an update um, on what they think the possibility of moving towards a diesel ban would be over the next decade in London, following those other four <coughs> cities around the world. I don't think we should be focusing in just on road pricing at this point, and I therefore move this amendment. Thank, Thank you. you. very much. Assembly Member Desai, do you wish Okay, thank you. Are you going to accept the amendment? No, yes, yes. Yeah, yes, of course you can. <laughs> thank you very much. Um, Assemblymember Cooper's amendment simply is taking out a call to update a study which might actually help get towards the point of where, that we all want to reach of having breathable air. This study is 17 years old. There are lots of, as I've mentioned before, reliable, responsible organisations who support and advocate a traffic demand management system for controlling and bringing down traffic levels on our roads. The point is, pollution is measured in grams per kilometre. So, if we reduce the amount of miles or kilometres travelled on our roads with a traffic demand management system, we will reduce the amount of pollution that the cars in our city are producing. The Deputy Mayor for Environment, um, Shirley Rodriguez, is actually named as one of the contributors to this report. So I just ask fellow Assembly members, do you not agree that this report needs updating and will you please reject the amendment and support the original motion. Do you wish to speak now, Assembly Member Berry? Mm. No. We haven't voted on, on the amendment. amendment. No, I want to speak on the final motion, if that's OK. OK. All right. Nobody else wants to speak on the amendment. Those in favour of the amended motion, please show. I beg your pardon. On the amendment. I beg your pardon. Thank you. Those in favour of the amendment. OK. Those against, please show. Right, right. The motion, um, I beg your pardon, the amendment is carried. Now, we now have an amended motion before us. Does that mean you would now like to speak, Assemblymember okay. Berry? Thank you. Um, so, yeah, I, would, I was seconding the original motion, um, but I, we are not going to vote against the amended motion. It asks for a study to look into 
other measures to uh, reduce our exposure to air pollution. And obviously the study we ask for, the updating of this ridiculously old study, uh, the Rockall study from 19, uh, 1999, um, would, not would not precluded from including in that. The thing is though, the Mayor's been studying air pollution um, since he came into power six months ago. And somehow he always manages to leave out traffic, demand, management. It's always about the cleaner vehicles. And as my colleague Caroline Russell has pointed out, the amount of pollution that comes out of a car is its pollution levels within its exhaust multiplied by the amount of distance it's driven. So something that keeps traffic down would be uh, a much more effective way of doing it. And we need to look at that as well as just cleaning up the vehicles. Banning diesel will be great, but we don't need a study into that. What London lacks is a study into smart, dynamic, intelligent road pricing that takes into account the technologies we have available today and the massive benefits there might be to the city quite outside of pollution as well. So I hope uh, you will vote for the motion, um, even though it doesn't quite say that, um, but vote for the motion that, that will commission a study into lots of different options that may include this very, very sensible measure. Thanks. Senator Member Duval. Mayor, I was hoping I wouldn't have had to speak in this debate, but actually everything that the Assembly Member Berry has just said is not precluded in, the, in our mm -hmm. amendment, and actually we want to go a little bit further than where the Greens are. And so in that sense, we are exactly on updating uh, that proposal. We will do rest assured on that, but we're asking for actually some other work to be done as well. And that's where we're coming from on this side of the group. We're slightly surprised that you can't see that, that's why we have moved, moved the amendment in the way that we've done. But just to give clarity, that's what we will be asking uh, the Mayor and the Executive to do in this authority. Could, could I ask a point of clarification? Are I you saying down. Are, 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 are you saying that, that, that you will commission a study into road pricing as part of your package of measures? Chair, I don't think it's not precluded. We can't make the executive yeah. do anything. What we're asking yeah. for is the executive to consider it by amending yeah. your motion. I think you have to accept the um, proposers of the amendment's goodwill on this one, really, as far as, far as that's concerned. Is there anyone here who is proposing to vote against the amended motion? Right, so we don't need to sum up on that. Oh, 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 Mr. Kurt. I, I, sorry, I forgot. I thought you'd be supportive of road pricing. Yes, you could speak oh, okay, if you Okay, thank like. you very much. Um, yes. Obviously, uh, we do have a problem with air pollution in London. There's no question about that. And nitrogen dioxide levels in some areas, particularly central London, particularly Oxford Street and around Heathrow, are above uh, World Health Organization uh, levels. The proposals of the mayor, however, we don't agree with. The T charge is going to be in the same zone as the congestion zone, the same area as the congestion zone. It's not going to uh, stop many vehicles from travelling into London that actually are very polluting vehicles. They're older vehicles which are before 2005 in their registration. So it's not actually going to do much to reduce pollution. The ultra low. Um, emission zones, similarly, uh, the Mayor is proposing to extend that all the way up to the north and south circular zones at roads with no modelling whatsoever. Lots of businesses and people who drive cars in those areas are very, very worried about the effect that it's going to have on them, and many of those vehicles actually are not very high polluting vehicles at all. Um, so we don't support the uh, T-charge, we don't support the ultra-low emission zone, and uh, UKIP certainly doesn't support uh, any kind of road-based uh, emissions, uh, emissions-based road pricing, because that will have severe potential consequences for civil liberties if the government or TfL or the mayor has access to the movements of every single car vehicle in the area. Even Hong Kong, as I understand, uh, didn't implement a system uh, like that. It was considering it, but it didn't on the basis of civil liberties. So that too, UKIP is opposed to, and that is why I'm opposing this motion today. Thank you very much. You're not obliged, Assemblymember Cooper, to respond to that, but you may if you wish. Uh, no, but I think, given shortness of time, and um, I think there's a fundamental thank difference. You very, thank you very much. Those in favour of the amended motion, please show. Those against, please show. One. 
And the amended motion is carried. Thank you very much. Next